This new microfiber uh, is three quarter inch and the uh, texturing of it in they suggest that you give it a good rub that uh, any loose fibers they are a lint free product and uh, working on a repaint yesterday the uh, professional painter there said he uh, uh, estimates that he was between uh, 40 and 50 percent more efficient with it than he was with a traditional professional roller cover. We also have a, uh, a half inch uh, map pile that uh, we're going to be trying out for the top coat later today. Besides excellent uh, pickup and release and uh, additional coverage, uh, the microfiber are touted also for their very low splatter. So we're going to be performing a uh, splatter test on both the primer coat as well as the top coat. I'll be rolling out uh, some brown craft paper on the floor and then we will check the splatter pattern on the uh, paper later. So we've got a 12-foot uh, section of wall here where the paper stops at and uh, we're going to paint prime that out now. There we have it. Okay, here we are in the afternoon and uh, the wall's been sanded, dried, and you can see we're going to have a uh, color change, very substantial. So uh, we'll get to see what kind of coverage we get with a single roll. So we'll start at the other end, we've got about uh, 12 to uh, 14 feet of wall here to roll. And there we go. So we'll shut her down and do a close-up here shortly. It's kind of hard without perspective, but uh, the uh, fill for the paint is excellent. There's no visible of the lighter color underneath on a one-coat roll. And this is a mid-grade, uh, construction-grade uh, latex paint. And here we go. Uh, shot of the uh, building paper that I had laid down. You see no, no splatter or drips on the paper at all, so very good adhesion and uh, no splatter off of the uh, roller at all.